Hey, Peter. Hey, Lois. All right, that works. Audio levels look good. I just want to start with uh, us testing the audio as Hey, Peter, and Hey, Lois. Yeah, sure. Okay, cool. Why not? Why not? Welcome, everybody. This is episode 279. Yes, it is. Of the Super Mega Cast, which we started back in 2016. Gosh dang, dude. And it's 2022. Wow. Amazing. <laughs> no, I, but it, it, that, it, that's, that's wild, dude. That, like, that's, that's actually, like, when you put it in terms, like, we started it in 2016 and now it's 2022, that really, like, stretches my, my, my brain into some goop. I bet, how long do you think the compilation would be for... Like, wow, episode 33? Exactly, exactly. That's 33 episodes, dude. Yeah. That shit. Would you say that's just kind of our, like, opening theme song I don't know, dude. to get people warmed up? It's a good warm-up to the, like, to, well, okay, it's because when we start the podcast, we usually don't have something to talk about, because it comes as we're talking, so yeah. it's like, hey, what's up, guys? Wow. Still to this day, there are no planned topics. We literally just... Press record and then go. We sit. We, we like say, hey, it's not like we we distance ourselves before the podcast. We're hey, not. Whoa, 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 save it for the podcast, buddy. We're not allowed to communicate for no three days before the podcast. Save it for the episodes. And call me up, like, dude. Legos in Legos in the emergency clinic. Dude, Ryan, save it for the podcast, dude. Oh, Hang up be, on you. That'll be so good. Dude, I don't dude, want to hear anymore. Dude, no, no, no. I, I I need my reaction to be genuine. <laughs> stop, stop, stop. <laughs> calling me that like your your father was in a horrible car accident. Ryan, stop, dude. Save it for the we're not supposed to be talking right now. Save it for the podcast. Like oh god, a car accident. Nope. <laughs> <laughs> he got in my car and <laughs> took it down the block. <laughs> the guy, I don't know if I sent it to you. It's a video of um these guys on the like the freeway. And they're like, yo, there's no one in this car, dude. Look. And they pull up next to this Tesla and there's just a dog. With like the there's window a dog, open, yep, yep. And it's, it's a smaller sitting. dog, right? Yeah, and there's like no one in the car, and they're like, "What it's the fuck?" Because they're summoning their Tesla. I think Someone's so. summoning the Tesla, and the dog's there alone with an open window. I thought that the summon feature was like basically like, oh, if it's in a parking lot, like a little bit far away. I didn't know it would actually like drive it down the freeway to you. Is that safe? No, I don't. Like to summon your. I mean, if they allow it to happen, so is it? Is it like? It's not breaking any laws to summon your Tesla. No, I I don't or know. Is it? I don't know what laws are with like computers driving for you, but I mean there there's fully automated cars on the road. Like the there's that weird delivery thing that they test out. Yeah, wait. Well, I remember like back oh, like, when was it? It was this like delivery bot and then like someone just ended up like destroying it <laughs> and trashing it. Got him. Kind of like that a uh, hitchhiking bot or whatever. Hitchhiking that, bot. That got mugged in Philadelphia. <laughs> <laughs> oh, was it like a bot that was hitchhiking? Yeah, it was just like, take me to a new place. And like people were just like taking it from, I don't know, Canada or some shit like that. And it ended up all the way in Philly and then it just got mugged. Legitimately. It got give, mugged. Give, give us that money, boy. Look up, look up. That's hilarious. Look up hitchhiking bot Philly. Hitchhiking bot Philly, bro. That's that. Who who would mug a sweet little AI robot? <laughs> Hitchbot, the hitchhiking robot, gets beheaded in Philadelphia. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that, that the way that they the way that they word that <laughs> sounds like he was captured by the Islamic State and fucking like beheaded on camera. Hitchbot. Here's a Wikipedia article for it. Man, rest in peace. It was a Canadian hitchhiking robot. Okay, so I was right. Why would they? Why would someone? When it was stripped and decapitated in Philadelphia, <laughs> the 2015 attempt to hitchhike across the United States ended when it was stripped and decapitated in Philadelphia, Pennsylvania. It made, like, people took it, like, in their cars and shit. Like, it was just legitimately, like, it quite literally is the hitchhiking robot. Like, strangers would pick it up on the side of the road and shit. And it made it all the way to Philly. I thought it was going to look a lot more, like, professional. <laughs> or, like, like, like a team of... <laughs> researchers made it. it it looks like like a like a someone with schizophrenia that's lives in like a hoarding house made a friend for themselves out of like junk and garbage like look at that i think it looks i know i think he looks adorable he has like fucking kitchen sink gloves on and shit yeah <laughs> that's why it's in like there's marker all over it that's why it looks like someone they wanted to make him friendly so it's not like 
hey, I'm going to spy on That doesn't you. look friendly. That looks scary. <laughs> I think that looks like a fun guy, a fun time. You bring him to a bar. That's true. Everyone's going to want to talk to him. <coughs> All the ladies are going to want to talk to you. Today, it's be, speaking of ladies talking to us, today, today is officially, officially my first day of, of my uh, intensive health training stuff. But I don't really want to talk about that because you know what they say? They say don't. Well, you brought it up. Well, they, well, they say. Well, you brought it up. I know. So and, obviously you do. Well, I brought it up it. and then I instantly realized that I don't want to talk about it because you know what? Uh, you know, they say, they say when you start a new habit or something, don't tell people. Tell people two weeks after. Because you haven't really started that. Right, right. And then you look like a dang fool if, if I say, oh, I'm starting. And then tonight I'm smoking. Well, we already have told people that we're like, we're like, uh, take, we're trying to look after our health more. Today's, we, yeah, I, I, I didn't, I haven't been doing a lot for that, especially because of the holidays. Excuses, excuses, but today's the first day I'm. Yeah, I went and got COVID, so. Yeah. That I'm, put me out for a few days. You know, I was still eating junk food, drinking alcohol. Oh, same over the holidays, like, like. I I went to Miyabi's one day. I I'm not I'm I'm trying like to stay away from bread for for the most part, but all of a sudden like my friend came back home with with little Debbie's. Oh. And uh, you know, little Debbie, she tempted yeah. you, man. He 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 like ordered an Instacart order and all of a sudden he he comes in from the front door. And there's several boxes of different little Debbie's. Which ones? There was um the the Christmas trees, the like zebra cake Christmas trees. Yeah, yeah, Fuck, yeah. that's dangerous, man. There were the cosmic brownies, zebra cake, Swiss rolls. Oh, dude, those we, are had, all we the, had the good ones, man. We had the pecan little pinwheels. Fucking pinwheels. I don't yeah. like those. Oh, I love. They're those. They're too dry. Oh, I love them so much. The I, center is a little bit like they're also sticky, super, but those are nostalgic for me. I remember every now and then. It wouldn't be all the time, but every now and then. My, if I, because I would switch off, you know, mom one week, dad one week, but every, you know, once in a blue moon, I go into the kitchen and on top of like the w the area where like a toaster oven or a toaster would be, there would be a little like thing of pinwheels. That's where they put the box, dude. Yeah, that is, I, I know exactly like, what you're talking about. And you have to savor them because like my dad's eating them, and I'm eating them, and we, you you, know. you ain't getting them at home. <laughs> no, me and my me and my dad can snack. Yeah. Yeah, we're the and also you know we're the snacks that smile back. Yeah, you are. <laughs> I see you in a pinwheel with a big old grin on your face. Same with same with your daddy. Hell you yeah, boys sitting by the lake together, crunching on some little Debbie snack cake. <laughs> yeah, on big some, smiles on, on your some face. Pinwheels. He's pushing me on like a tire swing. <laughs> mm. <laughs> Dude, Can boy. I have another pinwheel? Oh, I, I think we just ran out. Oh, uh, what? Oh, uh, wait a second. What's that behind your ear? Oh, a whole another box. <laughs> He puts one in his mouth and he pushes you on the on the rope swing. And when you come back, you have to like take a bite out of it out of his mouth. You, <laughs> but, you, but you're just not close enough. You're like ooh ooh, like my feet are fluttering, <laughs> like trying to like swinging, trying to build momentum. I don't know what this action would be like. My 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 legs are clawing at the air. It's like it's my it, legs are. It's like how you would be swimming, but you're in the air. You're kick. You're you're not gyrating. But you can visually here. understand. Yeah, yeah, yeah I understand. You're using you're using the the force of of moving your legs to to push you like when people like like in the air they think that helps yeah it, exactly what it, it doesn't help to what do anything well I guess movement because cats like they change their kind of like projection by like how they shift their body weight if you're in zero gravity that w like you can't move by doing that when did we get in zero gravity oh I I I don't know but I was I was I was saying like in regular gravity I yes. guess. In, in regular gravity. You, I mean, what, what are you pushing against? The, the air? Like, because you can make, like, for instance, when you're on a swing, you know, you could start fully still and then kick your legs and start going. So yeah. it's like. You can build some sort of momentum. I think it's the, it's the swing from, like, your legs pull you. Oh, yeah, that's what it is. You swing your leg and the, the motion is going and the momentum and it, and it pulls you a little bit. And then you do it again. Keeps pulling you. Whoop. I don't know if I can do kiss this your dad. anymore. You remember being a kid and, like. Try like getting the swing to the point, like swinging on it to the point where like it wouldn't be tight. It loosens. Like, taut, it loosens yeah. and it goes, Doom! and then you start clunking down and then you just jump up as high as you can and like <sighs> land on the ground. And like, I feel like now my ankles would just go <laughs> like, <laughs> just like a bunch of kids around you. <laughs> yeah. You're by yourself. I wish, the playground. I, I wish I could feel as confident as, well, I'm not going on in swing sets as, 
as often as I used to. Can I build they some told me to stay away from those, ups? apparently. Yeah. Well, for that was for a different reason, but can they build those for grown-ups? Weight Be- requirements, huh? Well, well, they build swing sets for children, right? And they have specific weight requirements, and I want to get on the swing, and I want to kick my legs, and I want to go until, like, I'm basically at a... At a uh, Get one of those... 90-degree angle. Get one of those long, like, wooden plank, like, southern racist slave owner swings. You know what I'm talking about? You can't take those that high, though. I've been on those. You can... You can you, there's no way you can even get those to a 45 degree angle. They're, those they're, ones I'm talking about, they're literally just like a plank of wood and then there's like just a thing that goes up on a high branch. Yeah. And I, what I'm saying is those can't get that high, man. Like they just don't have the same like aerodynamics. What if you know. got like a Cirque du Soleil beam? No, that might be that might be doable. I'm sure one of those circus freaks could do it. <laughs> they're fucking crazy at it. God, but, but I remember swinging and you and you Odds are you have to go to a circus. <laughs> I'm gonna fucking I'll pay go for to it. Sur- okay. Ten. Three, two, one, seven. Five. Oh, thank God. <sighs> I did not want to go to the That would have been so circus, good. Dude. You still have to... Fu- uh, COVID ruined so fucking much, dude. You were supposed to buy tickets, front row seats, so we could go see Carrot Top in Vegas. I know. Justin still has to go see Cat Williams by himself. <laughs> <laughs> well, he better is look up when Williams? Cat Williams is in North Dakota. <laughs> Wait, when, when in the Wait, world? We need to look. We need to like check if Cat he, Williams tour dates and make sure that if he's ever visiting, when like he's there, we just surprise him with this. Hey, you said, and y- you're gonna be free today. Well, we got we gotta see if, when Cat Williams is gonna be near Justin. If if that's gonna happen, because if Cat Williams comes near Justin on tour and Justin doesn't go, that sounds like kind of he's breaking the what of the odds. Exactly. You know, he has to buy the ticket, right? Yeah. If it wasn't stipulated, you, then yeah. You, well, you have to send him a link. You know, you might have to update him because I don't think that he's, you know, uh, mm. excited. Cat Williams, baby. Let's see the Cat Williams tour. Uh, Yo mama. Dude, will you fucking knock it off? Sorry. Well, why doesn't it tell me the fucking... It just says the name of the venue really long. So... Wait, what? It just said... Like, the name of the venue really it long? It won't show me, like, the date or the uh, the state. It just says the fucking... Okay, that the website no- sucks ass, dude. The name of the venue, very long. It is, it, it is the name <laughs> of the venue is very long, and then it won't show the, the state. Here we go. Here we go. Uh, I'm just looking to see if there's any... Greenville, South Carolina. February 25th, dude. What about that? Huh? You want to go to that? I don't want to see Cat Williams. I don't want to see Cat Williams. The, 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 the point was... North Charleston, South Carolina, oh. April 29th. No, he's not going anywhere near Justin, unfortunately. This looks like it's a... Fuck. Yeah, this looks like it's like a more... No, it's... Never mind. But it. I was going to say more if like If he ever East. comes to L.A., which he probably will because it's a very popular spot to tour, Justin will be here. Mm-hmm. We tell him, he's like, hey, buy your tickets. Boom. We need proof that he Trap goes to. Him. He could just show up and like take a picture and then leave. No. I want I want him to take like a video at least like an hour into the event. And how do, how do we prove this though? That he did it? Yeah. We see the video. Is it just like well he could just do like one song, two song and then leave. Mm-mm. I don't know why I said song. <laughs> Cat Williams, Williams. He's famous for his songs. <laughs> no. He's a great it, musician. It, it could be like cuz his jokes I feel like are very sporadic unless he tells long stories. Huh. Which I wouldn't know because I've never seen a Cat Williams stand up. I've only seen commercials for Cat Williams stand up. I just, I just, this memory just came rushing back to me where I'm like, I was, <laughs> it's like eighth grade. I was in my room and I hear my mom downstairs just like cackling, just like howling with laughter. And in your head, and, you're like, you're like, it must be Tyler Perry. Oh, I was like, I don't know what she's watching. I come downstairs and she's sitting on the couch watching a Cat Williams stand up special, <laughs> just fucking laughing herself into a coma. <laughs> Matthew, this is hilarious, and uh, she she loved the Cat Williams stand up special. So I, he must he do. might be funny. I mean, he's been in movies. He was in Norbit. Yep, and that's so honest Terry Crews. That's right. Where I, that's where I got all my respect for Cat Williams. Terry Crews in Norbit. Yeah, Terry Crews was in Norbit. Remember? Tarky was Eddie ass. Murphy in Norbit? Eddie Murphy's the main character oh, in Norbit. Shit, he plays Norbit. Eddie Murphy is Norbit, and Rasputia. He Rasputia. plays both. He plays the Asian dad too. He died. <laughs> Is that him or is that that's him? David's not David Spade. Uh, uh, uh Rob. 
You're no. Th- you're thinking of the guy who marries Chuck and Larry. That's exactly who I'm thinking of, because that, that's Rob Schneider doing no, the Asian No, Eddie Murphy man. plays an old Asian man. That's who's right. the father of Norbit, or like the... the he raises him. He raises him. That's right. That's right. He adopts him, or, or he works for the orphanage or something. Dude, I could rewatch Norbit. Okay, also recently I was on my Amazon account. The water and, slide scene, though. No, oh, dude, the water slide scene? I've said this before. I was looking up some Norbit scenes on YouTube once. I... I don't understand how many why they how they have that many views. I thought it would be like maybe it's a like good movie, a couple dude. million views, but it's like what? It's like seventy million views on the water slide scene or something. I'm like, damn, that many people are fucking watching Norbit scenes on YouTube. It's a hilarious video of a large person going down a water slide. How you doing? You know? Yeah. <laughs> oh yeah. Hi, you're done. Great, fucking fantastic, dude. So actually, I did watch the book. When I had the DVD, I watched the behind the scenes. Norbit! And uh, they actually, for the water park thing, they got a real woman's body to, to be that. And then they like they basically like rotoscoped Edward. Well, you can tell. Edward <laughs> Edward Murphy's head onto it. <laughs> there's there's like really bad, like at that point, rotoscoping was still very obvious. There's even this, dude, there was this horrible rotoscope in a Game of Thrones episode. <sighs> Let me see if I can... It was just like it was because the it, it it makes sense because the actress didn't want to be nude for the scene and it required her to be nude. So they got like a body double. So they got a body double, but rotoscoped her face onto the body double. Ooh. But it's so just like like flat. I guess is the best way to describe it. Can, like you know, like a video game character. Can I, face can I see from it like somewhere a, on YouTube? Here, I'll, I'll try to look it up and send it to you. Let me see. It's it might be hard to find because you know she's naked. Here, Norbit movie clip splashdown twenty five million views. But there's another one that has more called like Rasputia. Look at this dude. Norbit meets Rasputia. A clip of them meeting seventeen million views. The hell! I sort of got like it's not even a high quality, so it's gonna be hard to. Hold up. Let me look up Rasputia water slide. Dude, did the video get taken down? Wait a second. Dude, I think that the Norbit clip got taken down. The one that had like 70 million views. What? It was called Rasputia at the water park, I think. And now all I can find is like an official clips channel upload of it with uh, with 25 million views. The hell? Okay, that's disappointing. That's, that's really, that kind of just put a huge towel over my head for the day. Like a damp towel thrown across my face. Stopping me from breathing. I'm gonna have some cranberry juice. I got this little Among Us paper cup filled with cranberry juice. Mm mm mm. Mm. Oh, that's good stuff. You you enjoy that? You know, cranberry juice is uh, great for the urinary system. Really good for the urinary system. Oh my god, that just reminded me. I had a dream last night. I pissed black. My piss was like black, like motor oil. And your piss was yeah, a dream where your piss was yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. And in my dream, I was like, oh, fuck. Oh, my God. What the hell? And it kind of like burned coming out. And I was pissing in the sink in my dream. And it was it was black. And I was freaking out, like just like not fully black. Like there was like a little it was like it was there was black within the liquid. And it was uh kind of just looked like motor oil. And it scared the shit out of me. And I was like, I got to go to the hospital. In the future, there will be aliens who have harvested your brain. And it's in a little tank and they're sticking needles and stuff. And you're the, the fuck, you're the, you're the fucking one. You're the mind that they need. Because these dreams are fucking out of this world, bro. <laughs> they're they're going to, like, if they need any brain to study the human mind. Exactly. Mind's a good one. They're going to go, this guy's crazy. Have you, heard of, have you heard about his dreams? He pissed black. What? Yep. He, no, he did. He had, he had a dream he pissed black. Oh, yeah. Get that shit loaded up right now. <laughs> It's a. They I, just start watching it. Oh my Whoa. god, it's brilliant! Oh, what if aliens could actually do that? They, they stick these fucking like syringe things, and all of a sudden they could just like watch your memories and shit. It'd be That's terrifying, a, dude. That'd be awesome. They could watch all my embarrassing moments. Yeah, like but a they, highlight reel. Who knows? Maybe for them it wouldn't be cringe. They just find it interesting. Maybe something that would be embarrassing for me would be a regular social norm for them, so they wouldn't find it embarrassing. Like, like why? is it weird when you see two monkeys have sex? Is it weird when you see two lions making love? In a documentary, that's how they'd view it. Okay, well, when I, even if it's a documentary, if I'm watching, like, two monkeys making love, it's still, like, you know, it's not like it's not uncomfortable. Why? Because it's, it's two just monkeys. sex. Yeah, I know it's just sex, but imagine you're watching it with, like, your family. 
And okay, if you're watching this documentary with your parents and it shows two monkeys fucking like like, like close in. Cl- yeah, like penetration, full frontal nudity from both of them. D- monkey dick and monkey pussy. Like you know? they film in a <laughs> dude, imagine, The guys up close. You see, like, like the porn. balls like <laughs> like it's getting like porn style shots, like porn angles like that. <laughs> Like, he literally just does all the angles with, like, a fisheye lens up close, sideways. That's not the shots we needed for the documentary, Ken. Wait, which which podcast episode is it the one where they talk about uh, filming two monkeys having sex and the cameraman's uh, clo- close up on their penetration and they and they mimic the ball slapping sound? Which one is that? They, well, they make the monkey I'm gonna re- I'm going to re-listen to it. <laughs> it's going to be a Reddit post <laughs> in, like, two years. What's the one where they talk about that? Um... How long has that coke been uh, been there behind you? Coke? Yeah, just hold up. Hold up one second. Just wait. Is it old? Is it old? They're fresh. Ah. Uh, hold up one second. Got the drip? Not yet. So, oh, that was salt. <clears throat> oh, oh, that burned. Fuck. You okay? Yeah, yeah, I'm good. Why was it? Why was it? Why was it divvied out into a perfect line? I don't know. I think it was was Layton a fucking around with salt again. <laughs> I don't know. It stung though. That's not good. I for was you. hoping for something better. You have salt in your lungs. I now, was dude. not expecting salt. You have salt in your in your nasal cavity and in your <laughs> lungs. <laughs> Are you okay? Yeah, I'm good. I'm good. <clears throat> Do we need to go to ad reads. Yeah, uh, we'll <laughs> we'll go right there. Th- this episode of the Super Mega Cast is brought to you by Raycon. Raycon wireless earbuds are the best way to bring audio with you. Their everyday earbuds look, feel, and sound better than ever. There's also awareness mode for when you need to listen to your surroundings, so you can take Raycons with you wherever you go. With optimized gel tips for the perfect in-ear fit, these earbuds are so comfortable, and they will not budge. Trust me. Raycons offer 8 hours of playtime and a 32-hour battery life, and they're priced just right. You get quality audio at half the price of other premium audio brands. It's no wonder Raycon's everyday earbuds have over 48,000 five-star reviews, and I'm one of those because I love Raycons. I put them in my ears when I bounce around in hula hoop, and it's so much fun. The audio quality is epic. Right now, Super Megacast listeners can get 15% off their Raycon order at buyraycon.com slash supermega. That's buyraycon.com slash supermega to save 15% on Raycons. Remember, that's buyraycon.com slash supermega. Nice. If you're carrying a credit card balance month after month, it can feel like you're in a never-ending cycle of debt with no end in sight. Like, uh, what's his name? Sisychus? S- uh, Persisic? The guy that's pushing the boulder up the mountain. Yeah. Persificles. Well, Upstart is here and can help you make that final payment so you can get ahead. Upstart is the fast and easy way to pay off your debt with a personal loan, all online. Whether it's paying off credit cards, consolidating high interest debt, or funny personal expenses, over a million people have used Upstart to get one fixed monthly payment with a clear payoff date. Rather than looking at credit score alone, Upstart considers other factors like your income, current employment, and credit history to find you a smarter rate for your loan. You're more than just that little number. You could check your rate without impacting your credit score in minutes uh, for loans between 1,000 to 50,000 bones. I bought my friend Justin a bunch of Buffalo nickels uh, and, and I accidentally ordered about 2 million of them and got in severe credit card uh, debt. And Upstart helped me pay off that credit card debt. And I didn't feel like, you know, the world was ending. Find out how Upstart can lower your monthly payments today when you go to upstart.com slash supermega. That's upstart.com slash supermega. Don't forget to use our URL to let them know your boys sent you. Loan amounts will be determined based on your credit, income, and certain other information provided in your loan application. Upstart.com slash supermega. Oh, one of my favorite videos. I don't know like where, where I could find it, but it's it was just this like, it wasn't a TikTok. It was, I saw it on Instagram. On this uh, Instagram meme account I used to follow that always got banned and would come back and then get banned and then come back. Um, uh, I eat I eat clips, mm-hmm. A I G H T clips, and there were a bunch of iterations. But he just posted all these. Just these, I don't know where he got them, but he just posted these ridiculous clips. And and what was the one that? What's the one that you're talking about? It's like. You could tell that it's been like reposted and like screen recorded and downloaded so many times because it's so compressed. But it's like some dude with a line of coke, and he has like a dollar rolled up, and he looks at the camera and he's like, "The cure to coronavirus," like trying to be, make like a funny video with his friend. And he snorts the line, and instantly he's like, "Stop!" 
oh, what you fuck, man? And like, then like, his friend just pans over and it shows just a, uh, like one of those like cans of, of like Ajax, <laughs> like Comet. Like cleaning power. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> that's, and you can just hear him in the background, like, that's not cold, man. And that, that's it. And just, I don't know why it's fucking. <laughs> I'm sure, I'm sure the little uh, internet investigators will find it. Yeah, it's, it's really funny. Send it to Matt again so he can watch I it. I could probably find it. I mean, I haven't really looked for it. Sorry, I didn't take a break to finger my asshole. Oh, no. My favorite line in the entire book, in the entire Super Mega Saves the Troops, is the part at the end where it's like, just, it's like, after. After, after like playing around with his cock and balls from the back for a minute, yeah, or you're getting something out of your pants. And my, uh, I wonder if my dad's read anymore. That actually, th so we, there's a let's play where we talk about how Dale has actually started, he likes reading, it, but that he episode really shouldn't be out it. yet. But whew, he, he's enjoyed it so far. I mean, actually, I could call him and get his actual opinion. Sure, do it. Would you like that? Yeah. Uh, let's uh let's 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 hear a review from Dale Watson. How's that sound, buddy? Let's hear a review from Dale Watson. I was scrolling through my phone, I couldn't find him, and then I realized it's because I was looking for Dale, not Dad. Hopefully he picks up. It's 3 45 PM. Hey Matt. Hey Dad, what's up? Too much. Hang on, let me get you on speakers. I'm driving. Hey, I am. Uh, I'm recording a podcast right now, and I just, I was just curious if, uh, if, if you've read any of the book yet. Yeah, I finished it. You read the whole thing. Yeah. Really? Yeah, of course I did. What did Why you think? I... Um. Give me, give me your honest review of it. To thousands. Are you cool? Well, I I mean, I just, yeah, if that's okay. I just want to know your I thoughts love, on it. I love the clever way you guys wrapped it up. Okay. I thought that was uh, uh, really uh, just a well-done professional way that you wrapped it up. We're professionals. By the way, for your audience, he's paying me to say this. So. That, that's not true. Oh. At You're not supposed to say that part, Dad. Okay. It, Cut anyway, that outline. It's, you know, uh, to get past the potty humor and all of that, if you look past all of that, it's a great read. Look Obviously past, look past it. it. What do you mean, look past it, Dad? It's part of the read. You have, you can't look past it. Okay. There would be a uh, more subtle, clever way to do that part, I think. But um, anyway, your your target audience is, is certainly not poop? sixty year old, poop studly, very fit men. But, right. Um, Right. But anyway, it's a yes, it was very entertaining. Uh, um, you guys had a lot of great twists and turns to it. And, okay. And you did an excellent job of wrapping it up and then leaving it all hanging to uh, for the next one. Perfect. And what? as a matter of fact, I was going to ask you questions about it. Like, um, kind of the your approach to it. I think maybe we'll have this talk about this later yeah i don't want to put any spoilers out there but yeah well that i that that that's very it's drastically different from the uh review i expected and, and i very I, ryan and i appreciate that very much that's that's very nice review did you like the shower scenes no i figured <laughs> that was quick well i was gonna ask you about those about like, oh yeah uh, go ahead yeah just now you you i want to hear what you have to say say about them and um, that little, the way you do it, it's, it's obvious uh, kind of fun, but very fun. You guys did a lot of them. So. Yeah, there's a lot of shower yeah. scenes. Well, it's it's meant to show. I mean, it's meant to be like a to show the bond between the two protagonists. You know, we we uh -huh. need we need scenes to establish. Uh, you know, the two the backs like the help me out here, Ryan. We, you know, we said that we were straight. Yeah, it, well, it says we're straight in all the scenes, so. Uh, yeah, no, no. <laughs> wink, wink. Well, no, there's no, we, there is no wink, wink in the book. That means there's nothing homoerotic about those scenes, and if there were, it hey, Dad, be, well, here's the thing, Dad. If you read those scenes, I just don't, and, I just don't feel that way about your if, son. If you take, if you take away homoerotic tones from that, that's your own perception, you know, because well, we specify it straight. So that's that's. But here's my thinking of appealing to a broader audience. I know that you both, both you guys know 
audience and your audience loves you. My only thinking is how do you appeal to so that so that I can recommend it to my my uh, aunts to read it. I, Dad, I think that your your aunts would love or to read I it. How it is? Well, it's like, would you recommend your aunt, aunts like Captain so, Underpants? Well, oh, by the way, Matt, just a a, uh, a side note here. I'm driving back from Aunt <laughs> funeral, which, if you remember as a child, going to Aunt <laughs> house. Yeah, no, I I didn't know she passed away. She did. She was ninety and. She was a um, um, icon in the Watson family. There, she used to. I was scared to death of her as a little kid. Yeah. Oh well. Uh, yeah. Wow. I didn't know she that. That's great food. Yeah. Yeah. So, uh, my with, condolences. With your grandparents passing just a, a month or so ago, and then she's going. So, wow. Don't want to change the tone of your call here. No, it so. did, but it's it's okay. It's okay. Overall, I, I appreciate uh, your words on the book. Um, I'll call you in a bit and, and talk to you after the podcast, but but thank you so much for your, your kind review, and I'll talk to you later. Hey. Hey to Ryan, and um, um, good job, guys. Actually, when I was leaving town this morning, driving from Charleston, South Carolina to Greenville, um, your book was on a billboard as I was leaving town. You saw it? Nice, nice. You saw it. I'm glad. I I thought I had to smile as I drove by it going, wow, that's like uh, so random there. That's great that you saw it. I'm so glad. (laughs) (laughs) Yeah. All right. Well, talk to you later, Dad. Ryan. Yeah? Bite me. Bite you? See you guys. Love you. Love you. What the, what was that? (laughs) He wants you to bite him? I don't know. Well, I guess my uh, great aunt has passed away, unfortunately. R.I.B. The icon in the Watson. The icon in the Gene Watson pool. family. Gene pool. <laughs> I love like rep, re- like my Gene pool. Our Gene pools together. Why did my dad choose like right then, like knowing he's on the podcast, to tell oh. me that a family member passed away? Oh, actually, speaking of, you know, I'm on. I'm driving, and I'm on the way back. From um, my aunt's funeral. Okay. Uh, Funny thing is, your grandparents died. Yeah, he, he, <laughs> like, like, he brought that up for nobody. He's like, you know, your grandparents just died a month ago. Hilarious. He said, he said, with your grandparents passing about a month ago. I was like, uh, yeah, I know they passed away a month ago. I have one. I have one. It was actually grandparent left. I don't know why my dad said a month I mean, ago. I have it was September when they passed away. And it's January now, so that's a little more than a month ago, but that's actually uh, a quarter of a year yeah. ago. Not a month ago, but you said you have two grandparents left? I have one of, like, blood in my in my gene pool. Your Oma. My Oma. And you didn't get to have that Oma cooking, man. You didn't no, get the Oma right. No, I didn't. I didn't have the fucking stuffed grape leaves. I didn't have <sighs> kibbe. I didn't have fucking Oma's rice. I didn't have hummus and pita chips bread whatever the fuck they have and also they always have pepper jelly and cream cheese with crackers oh, fucking cream cheese with pepper jelly with and like a, a ritz cracker oh and, my god and, and that's not like a oh it's this thing that they made it's it's just a little side that's sh- like a thing that that's I like, like a southern thing i think well, i mean they have pepper jelly here when i would go to the farmers like market like jalapeno and pepper jelly at ralph's Oh, and it's good pepper jelly with night. cream cheese. We gotta have a cheese night. Oh, we, we can't have a fucking have cheese wine. night. We can't. Oh yeah, you're right. Or wine night. Because nope. we can't. We can't be drinking after. Um, I get epic, and you get after. Epic. I get epic too. We can have wine and cheese. Yeah, we can celebrate. Well, we can have a different type of night. We can. Uh, we can. Um, maybe we can have a. Well, cheese is healthy, right? No, mm, it's dairy. You can have cheese. But you shouldn't have like my trainer. A meal shouldn't consist of solely cheese and wine and pepper jelly. Okay, you know well, what I mean. Well, what about and honey and all whatever the fuck nuts, whatever you put on the, your little cheese fruit and nuts night, where we each get an apple and a handful of nuts and some grapes, maybe a carrot. Sounds miserable. <laughs> That's like when you were a kid and you were hungry. You're like, Dad, I'm hungry. And they'd be like, well, you can have an apple or some almonds. Instead of like, coming no. in like, with like two coffee cups, I come in with like two big like carrot sticks. <laughs> hey, buddy, got you a carrot. No ranch or anything. Just <laughs> Carrots are the most, like, I get it. People like carrots. And I like them too, like when they're like in a stew or like when they're paired with like a gravy or like, uh, a, like a steak or something like that. But I don't like them 
plain. You don't like and just to a... me they they really represent like the most miserable like thing like to be eating. I don't like if I'm thinking of someone eating something alone and someone's eating just a dry carrot. <laughs> like that's just <laughs> if you're eating dry carrots out there at this moment. That's set. I'm not. Ta- I'm not talking about the juicy little ones that look juicy. I don't like those. Though I don't like the shape. I don't like why they're like. Why put them? They're round. It, those are sh- people. That, those I like are the. Th- I like the real like rabbit looking carrots. <laughs> yeah, those are fun. I do enjoy those. <laughs> I like you carrots. miserable sack of shit. Carrots enjoying are what you like. Carrots. Are, like I gotta be in the mood for carrots, but I I can enjoy a nice. Sometimes like a carrot's a little bit sweet. It's, it's good. carrot juice and carrot cake are delicious. Carrots are good for your eyes too. Ooh. You know what else is good for your eyes? What? MacGruber. It's a. It's a. They. It was a movie. Did you watch it? Back finally, because Layton. Layton. Every I've been, single day. I've been. I saw MacGruber in theaters with my dad when it came out. No, I mean the show that came out. Oh yes. You I, like I it? Well, I've only seen two episodes so far, but it's. I love. It's it. good. I love it. It's just fucking. I. I think you might enjoy it. It's think kind so. Of, it's just goofy, fucking fun, and the scenes. I could just picture as really good sketches on mm. uh, like a sketch comedy show, mm. and I love MacGruber. It's I think it's funny. I think it's shot well, and they do like a a good uh, job of having of adding production value. It looks like like it at least cost a good bit. Right, right. Oh. I, I, I've heard that it was expensive, and I hear Leighton ranting and raving about it, which makes me not want to watch it. So, yeah. Well, now that you've you've given it, I the, would recommend the McGee thumbs up. I'll, I'll have to I've check only it seen out. Two episodes though. There's one part in an episode, and I understand. I'm I'm not gonna ex- say what the part is. There's a part in an episode. I think might have been episode two. I was cackling my my fucking ass off. The classic McGee giggle. Oh, was, it, yeah. was it going full force? I can't remember if it was two or three episodes. I'll have to look back. But it, but it's just like I was, I it was the it was the classic Ryan laugh. Oh, that's a good laugh. To, it was to, it was an immature thing that happened. I mean, the whole thing is very immature. But well, you know, they could try appealing to a broad audience. They could be a little <laughs> more clever, I think. Because how 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 would I go recommending McGruber to my great aunt? Well, not the one that just passed away, of course, but... From your dad's review of the book, like, I feel like on his bookshelf is, like, Horton Hears a Who. <laughs> uh, <laughs> my, my, what is it, my butt from well, Uranus, whatever the fuck that book and series is. And then, like, is. for the sophisticated side, War and Peace, you know, stuff like no, that. I was, th- I was thinking a series of unfortunate events for the sophisticated side. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Because it has pictures. That's true. Uh, yeah, that and and also our um, our book uh, also has pictures. Pictures as well, so that made it a lot easier for my dad to read. <laughs> yep, he's very dyslexic, so the font's very big. It is. It's it's a page. larger font. Mm-hmm. Um, we could make it the next one smaller if we wanted, but then the book, you know, I want the next book to be thicker. No, I want our book to be ab- like I want it to be read by people who like. You know, they're, they're glasses, they don't know where they are, but they can just make stuff out. If our text was any smaller, people who lost their glasses wouldn't be able to read our book. Yeah, that's a great point. That's a great point. Yep. And, and also that, that lets us, you know, it also does, my dad says, you know, the bulk isn't geared towards people like him that are 60. But it's like, yeah, actually it the is text not. is bigger. It is geared, no, the text is bigger though, allowing 60 year olds to read it a lot easier. Yeah. <sighs> what happened? Did you just fart? Ben Saget. Bob Saget. Bob Saget. That was surprising. Me too. There's no cause of death or anything, right? No. Uh, so I'm not one to speculate, but I, I was just chilling yesterday, and I just get a news notification that says, Bob Saget, 65, passed away. Were you the one that sent me that? Yeah. You sent me that, and I looked at it, and I was like, because I knew it wasn't fake. I was just like, no fucking way. Or maybe I saw it on Twitter. I just remember seeing the image. You texted me, and you said, in all caps, what? Okay. Question mark, exclamation yeah, mark, yeah, yeah. question mark, <laughs> exclamation mark. Because I was like, <clears throat> I guess the best way I can describe it. <clears throat> fuck me, dude. I'm so congested That's right how now. you want to describe Bob Saget's death? <laughs> no. Ben Saigon's it's, it's death? It's just like, you know, there, there are celebrity and stuff that our, that our parents grew up with that are like a lot of them are gone or old or not working anymore. And it's just like me realizing that it's like eventually like, you know. I'll mature to that point because a lot of the people that 
I watched, let's say, at Nick at Night. I may have not watched the shows when they were originally airing, but I did watch, like, Nick at Night, and so I watched Full House right. a good bit. So that's where I knew him from. And He's a he, staple of, like, the generation before you. Did, and he did uh, America's Funniest Home Videos and shit. He did. And there was a roast and all this other There was stuff. the roast. I watched the roast. But I haven't, I, don't, I haven't really, like, kept up with his stuff. I see him pop up every now and then. But it's just kind of, like, one of those weird things of, like, oh, they just don't exist right now and they only exist through their past work right that people will have to appreciate and like there's no there's no new form of there's no new Bob Saget podcast episode there's no are they gonna still new cameo in a movie are they gonna keep throwing the Bob Saget podcast ads on our podcast still I would uh I'm assume maybe so someone's probably still making money off of off of them because those episodes stay up well you know, they did ask us to tone it back on the Bob Saget talk. Is this okay? Just put us in the clear. The, I mean, are we allowed? He's to? not going to get mad anymore. Well, he can't. Right? Are, are, do you think we can talk about it? I now? mean, he can get mad. He can be. Can he, we joke about the podcast? He now? can be up in heaven, looking down. Oh, you red. fuckers! <laughs> you fucking let's players! God damn it! Spoiling and ruining my name. They. I, this is actually just just an hour ago. Is they completed his autopsy and said no evidence of drug use or foul play, and that's all they keep saying. They won't. And and it says the the cause and manner of death are pending further studies and investigation, which may take up to ten to twelve weeks to complete. What does that mean? So like a brain aneurysm could mean suicide. Maybe that's or, what I always kind of like shift to whenever yeah, it's like when they won't like, say. And it's also he was sixty five. That's not like yeah super old. You know like. I, could, I mean, you could have a heart attack at that age, but it, it seems to be more like, I don't know. He, he wasn't like old, old. He was yeah, 60 something. That's that's not, 65. as you were saying, that's not young, but. Most people make it past their 60s. So, yes. And he seemed healthy. A lot of people start to show like signs like getting old or aging or like health starts to crop up more. Like, honestly, I feel in the 80s, mm -hmm. like 80s, that's where that's. That's like around the age where all of my grandparents started to get a little, I guess, weaker. Like what, uh, my grandfather fell, hurt, it, broke his hip. Right? Yeah. So that's, then it makes him immobile. So now he's getting weaker because that's kind he's of the sitting death down sentence. all the time. When old people fall and break their hip, that's usually the. Yep. It, it can be a death sentence because. You know. I think it was just going to get groceries. Like he was getting down from a curb or something, and then just. So. Yeah, that's what's when you're older. It's like, I think my mom's probably gonna be like, "No, that is not right." That event I told you about once, w when you were seven, yep. and, you, and you recalled it inaccurately. But yeah, that's that's crazy though, Bob Saget. You know, it. it but I, what's ingrained in my memory more than Full House, more than America's Funniest Home Videos, was Tourette's guy. Uh, <laughs> Bob Saget. Oh, Bob Saget. Because before, I saw a lot of gifts of yeah uh, of Tourette's guy. guy yesterday. Because before I like knew Full House, I knew Tourette's guy mm -hmm. because I didn't watch Full House until I got cable in middle school. But I did before that watch Tourette's guy on YouTube, and he would always scream Bob Saget as like an expletive, and I never understood why. I just thought it was funny that he was screaming just Bob Saget. Uh, every time he got upset, he stubbed his toe or he you know would dropped you say his Bob fork. Saget. Stop, Bob Saget. Would you go up to your like mom and dad who are like, I don't know, fucking in the kitchen and like mm -hmm. share share? I'd your show. I'd, I'd, I'd Bob show them. Bob Saget, I'd say, hey, come here, come here, come here. Look at this, and I'd show them, and I'd say, "This is not funny. This man is struggling with uh, what appears to be a, a mental illness." And I said, "Oh, Bob Saget." And then we all had a good laugh, and is they Tourette's went back to fucking mental illness. Is Tourette's a mental illness? Is it I don't a physical? It's like a physical tick. It's. A, I don't. I don't know if it. I guess I, it's your brain. It's something to do with your like neurological like functions in your brain that cause I that think to it's happen. A, a neurological. But, but when I when I think of like mental illness, I don't know why. Maybe it's the way that it's been marketed to me. I think of like depression. It's a nervous anxiety, system disorder. Schizophrenia, huh? Nervous system disorder. Nervous system disorder. Um, interesting. That's what it was. It was it, it's more like physical tics. It's not a men It is not. A mental health issue. Oh, okay. The only reason I, I thought it might have been a mental health you issue. You just got owned. Yeah, I know. I know. But I, I'll accept it. You know? I got owned. No, I didn't get owned, Ryan. I I I grew. I learned that I, I saw that I was wrong and then I learned something. And that's it. all that we should be asking. Right? Of a, I don't care know, that I was wrong. Semi-successful young man. Now that I know the truth, I'm moving forward as a, as a more whole man. 
Um, but basically, I, I know someone with Tourette's, and it's just like a tiny twitch, like a every now and then. But I thought the only reason it could be a mental thing was because of the some people with Tourette's that you know yell the swear words and stuff. You know mm -hmm. that that that's a that's a interesting like aspect of a neurological disorder, like not being unable to like being not able to con control yourself from yelling slurs and stuff in public. That's got to suck because yeah. it's like you're aware that like th I don't this this is bad. I should not. Well, because you, you have to imagine there can be certain scenarios where it's not that you're thinking of the word. You're thinking of, oh, fuck, this is I, I wonder if it's the more you think about not saying it like that's what it kind of like, fuck, fuck, like it it starts to drill in there. Because I know, like, also ticks can be, you don't have to have the same, your tick can be physical or it can be vocal, but you don't have to have, like, the same vocal ticks. Like, it can change, like, the phrases can change yeah. and the words and all. Like, I, well, I saw, I saw. There can be stages. I've seen videos of Tourette's where it seems like it changes depending on, like, who's around. And, like, I, I saw one where it was someone around, like, a, you know, a black person and then they were yelling a very bad word. And it's, I, that's got to be so embarrassing. Yeah. Because it's like, sorry, I, I. Sorry. I mean, there are two, like, Puts uh, you in danger, fairly too. big... I mean, not fairly. There are two big entertainers who both have a different form, like, there's... Of Tourette's. It's, a uh, Well, Ethan. Ethan Klein, yeah. Ethan Klein is, like, a physical tick. And then, like, uh, Sweet Anita, who's, like, a streamer and has a YouTube channel, she has, like, vocal tics. Oh, really? Yeah. So, like, in... She'll, she, she, like, explains what it's like for her, because, like... You know how depression isn't the same amongst everyone. Right. It's like ev she has a, I guess, her own way of viewing it and her own way of dealing with it or going through it. Because it's more of like she's she's not like it's nothing to be. Em I'm not embarrassed about it because she's out there in streams and so it's like a positive light. Right. On on like it's more like a positive outlook. Well, I don't think on I'm Tourette's because a, a lot of images would be if you think of like. Kind of like South Park or Family Guy type jokes. Yeah. Where it's more of like, fucking boss, you know, making yeah. fun of that type well, shit. I, yeah, a lot of people don't understand Tourette's. I mean, I even didn't understand it that much until, man, just now kind of. I, and it illness. is comical to have to like, I mean, it's- To it's be screaming balls it's, it's, out in public. It's horrific and it's also comical. You can, two things can exist at the same time. Right. Yeah. I, I really think that, uh, I had, when I was a kid, I had a, uh, like nervous tics. That went away as I got older, but when I was in kindergarten, I would do these, um, like, vocal, like, ticks out of anxiety. Go, hmm, hmm. And I would, like, just do that out of anxiety. I don't know why. Uh, and this weird, like, <laughs> like breathing pattern thing. And my teacher wrote a note to my mom about it. And then uh, I, I eventually stopped, but I would always do these weird, like, vocal ticks. And my mom... Uh, Sounds actually, like you were just seeking attention. Well, one of the things my mom... I was. My mom got me a rubber band. Did you it, wear gloves to class too? No. Well, no, I had my one glove phase. Your fingerless they, gloves? They weren't fingerless. It was one glove. But then when I found out Michael Jackson did it, I told you I didn't want it. Mm -hmm. But uh, I had a rubber band and every time I caught myself doing it, I was supposed to snap myself with the rubber band. You know, kind of a uh, pa Pavlovian treatment. And then I just got on anxiety medicine later in life and stopped. Yeah. When I vape. Actually, when I get back on nicotine, I know I catch myself doing the breath thing, though. It's like a weird, like, flex of my throat. I can't even explain it, but I, I, I've always done it. I mean, there are also tics that, like, aren't from Tourette's. It's just, yeah. like, these, these were just people anxious. have tics. Like, p in general, people have their own mannerisms. That's how you recognize people's, like, posture or body. Like, that's how you recognize someone from a distance, for example, in terms of posture. I can hear, I, I always the, know when it's you coming down the hall or when it's Layton or when it's Jackson. Yeah. I can tell just by the, like, the way you walk, the way you talk, the way you shake that thing, you know? The way I fucking drop this fucking dumper of mine. This thick fucking dumper? I know when it's coming, man. I know I can hear that thick dumper coming, coming up and down the hallway. Miles away, baby. I, I hear Layton's little tiptoes. Tip. Don't Jackson kind of throws his feet store. in front of him. I mean, the way Jackson walks is he kind of just throws his feet in front of him. Have you noticed My, that? Like, <laughs> you can always tell it's me because I'm the only one wearing like flip flops. Or right, slides. that's that's a big. Like, I'm, I'm a big giveaway, so it's like either like. 
Well, it's like, I couldn't even describe how I know the difference between y'all's walking patterns, but it's almost like subconscious. Like, if you guys were all wearing the same shoes, I could tell who it was. I, and yeah, you could I do can, it too, I'm sure. Like, you could tell when it's me or when it's Slayton Jackson. Walks a Layton. little faster than anybody in the well, he kind of prances. Yeah. You know. Like, he's light in his loafers. Jackson's so. pretty heavy, cartoony. Jackson is kind of, he just kind of, like I said, he just kind of throws his feet in front of him. Like, boom, boom, boom. Slowly, too. He kind of, like, loafs. No, he, not loaf. He, uh, he, what's the word I'm looking for? I don't know. Y yours is like very long, heavy, and light at the, all of, in all in one. Long, heavy, and light. All right. I don't know how to explain it. Like you had, like it always sounds like you're going like for. It's kind of like a cartoon walk too, like long strides, but you're just walking and vibing and chilling. My because you're so tall. My feet are fucked up. You're like seven three. My feet are so fucked up from the bunions. Like my bone structure is out of place. It makes my balance all wacky. I could crack it into into a better. I thing would love that, dude. Honestly, I should. I mean, if you want me to try it, I could just right now. Yeah, hold up. Just okay, give me your. Here, uh, well, careful, because okay, you have, I have the bunions there. But see how it's curved. I don't have a lot of arch support. Move the mic, all right. Uh, okay, I'm just gonna. All right. See, I'm gonna bend the toes one okay. way, and then I'm just gonna. Ah! Ah! Whether it's saving more and spending less. Getting organized or losing weight, there's a lot of worthwhile goals to set for yourself this year. At the top of my list is learning a new language, and that's where Babbel comes in. Babbel is the language learning app that sold more than 10 million subscriptions. Babbel teaches bite-sized language lessons for real-world use. Babbel's 15-minute lessons make it the perfect way to learn a new language on the go. Other language learning apps use AI for their lesson plans, but Babbel lessons were created by over 100 language experts. I use Babbel, you know, I, I'm using it right now because I'm going on a, I'm going on a, 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 a so I can't talk about it, but it's a run, it's, I'm, go, I'm going to Mexico, you know, so I, I thought I'd learn the language, you know, uh, hola, there it is. Mm. Anyways, I'm going to talk more about Babbel. Start your new language learning journey today with Babbel. Right now, when you purchase a three-month Babbel subscription, you'll get an additional three months for free. That's six months for the price of three. Just go to Babbel.com and use promo code SUPER. That's B-A-B-B-E-L dot com. Code SUPER. Babbel. Language for life. Adios. Woo. It's 2022 and you know what that means. It's time to kick the year off with a better checking account with no monthly fees. Chime is an award-winning app and debit card which has no overdraft fees, foreign transaction fees, monthly fees, or service fees. Listen to that! With over 60,000 fee-free in-network ATMs at many locations like most Walgreens, 7-Eleven, CVS, you can access your money when you need it, where you need it. You can also send money to anyone, even if they aren't on Chime. Fee-free for you and no cash-out fees for them. I have a Chime debit card and I love using it because I never have to worry about overdraft fees or, uh, you know, when I go out of the country, don't have to worry about those foreign transaction fees because those can rack up. They love, they love charging you for all this. Banks love charging you for stupid stuff. It's just you don't even know you're being charged for it. Not Chime. So go ahead and make your first good decision of the new year and join over 10 million people using Chime. Sign up takes only two minutes and doesn't affect your credit score. Get started at Chime.com slash super. That's Chime.com slash super. Banking services provided by and debit card issued by the Bancorp Bank or Stride Bank North America. Members FDIC. Get fee-free transactions at any MoneyPass ATM in a 7-Eleven location and at any AllPoint or Visa Plus Alliance ATM. Otherwise, out-of-network ATM withdrawal fees may apply. Sometimes pay anyone instant transfers can be delayed. The recipient must use a valid debit card or be a Chime member to claim funds. <sighs> okay, we're back. Uh, I got myself a bandage, like a band-aid or two. Yeah, we, we wrapped it up a bit. It actually feels a lot better now and... Uh, yeah, you should still probably go see a, a doctor just to make sure I did it right. Cause, uh, you know, it's, you know, it's like when you, like a chiropractor cracks someone's back, it's like, ah, it's oh. a, or like a, uh, like a bandaid. Right. Yeah, right. As, as simply put, you know? Yeah. So feeling a little bit better. I, well, actually there's no feeling at all. So, I mean, that's why it feels better. But do you remember when you were so stupid that you had to be taught what, you know, like, like a bandaid, you didn't know what a bandaid was at one point. Mm-hmm. Well, Actually, t what, what is a band-aid? Huh? What, what's a band-aid? Uh, I'll, I'll tell you. I'll, I'll tell you after. Um, I know the I know the phrase and everything. It's just a little. It's just like a little like a like. Think of a sticker, but there's like padding on it. Think of like a little, actually a little tampon that you put on like cuts or something, so it doesn't get infected. And you can put uh, some disinfectant like Neosporin on the on the like pad. I know what Neosporin is. What? Hmm? What's a tampon? 
Oh, sorry, not a, ta- a pad. Sorry, I don't know why I said a, a pad. It's kind of like a, a, a miniature pad. Okay. Because pads are used to stop bleeding, you know, like for a period. And, and Band-Aids are made to stop the bleeding of slits as well. Oh, okay. okay. Well, I mean, I, I'm a visual learner, so okay. I, I'll figure it out. It's fine. But but yeah, there was a point when I didn't know what, what Band-Aids were. They come in all shapes and sizes and colors and there was patterns. A, there was a point where you had to learn, you learned everything. There was a point when, when, there was a day when you learned what a book was. There was a day, there was a moment when you learned what a, what a, what a video game was. When you learned what, what a cat was, you it's, know? It's just, I want to, I want to, I want to like get into, I guess that's why like, People get into hobbies like as they like get older, they find new hobbies and stuff. Because like I want to learn more, I want to I want to find new shit to be excited about. Yeah, exactly. <clears throat> you you have that. Humans always have that uh that itch that to, drive to for more, discover, to explore, to learn. <clears throat> I mean that's why that's why people go uh go to school, not because they've been taught that if they don't fit the exact process and mold of that and then having a family two car household and a job that they work nine to five are just to save money for retirement are colleges in trouble as a business like coming up in the future you I'm, know I'm I mean? probably just because i imagine that the push for free education will get stronger because college in america is so like be like doctors and lawyers and stuff but like in terms of like a general like like kind of like i majored in business you know what i mean well colleges charge so fucking much and also it's like you know the 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 wealth gap gets bigger, and it's like it's more less people are able to afford college now, and and I think it more people are being becoming unable to afford college because it gets like, more expensive, and it's just. Uh, I'm not talking like in the next five or ten years. I'm talking about like when we're probably old. You know, I just don't understand why why <laughs> it'd be so cool if there was like free college that everyone could go to, and if you want to go to a like a it's called YouTube, sweetheart. You, you know, you can it's learn more Wikipedia on Wikipedia you- numb nuts. If you could like process all the information from every Wikipedia video and have it, I mean, every YouTube video and have it in your brain, then, you know, you'd be the smartest man on earth. I'm sure there are programs you can buy where it's like the history of whatever and you can just like watch it. But like there is something different in terms of like having like a lecture and then going and studying and then being tested so that it's it's made to like cement itself into your head. Right. Yeah, but the problem was I would lazy. Yeah, I, I was too. I was I was a B C student. Got well, got my A's every now and then. I, I got a couple A's. You know, I got like a, a like two A-minus. A's and then maybe like two B's and a C. Yeah, maybe three B's and A and a C. I would get like, I would learn the stuff. You know, I'd pay I'd like pay attention and take the notes and study them. But the thing is, like, I would only learn it for the test, and then after the test, throw it out. Like, yeah. my brain would just be like, all right, let's make room for more and get rid of this shit. So, it's, I, I don't know if that means that, like, the method of teaching that's used right now isn't, like, that effective or... Well, that's only because... Or if it's just me. Well, that's just because if you're talking about, like, history or science, you have, like, different segments that you go by. But, like... Because you don't apply say, it. But, like, with math, since you continuously reapply it throughout the different stages of, like, just simple math and algebra and all that shit... So it's like there I feel like with math and even with like English class, I know it's like, oh, you have to read like all these stupid books or whatever. Like there is sort of an incline mm-hmm. in like vocabulary. Yeah. Um, just the diff I guess more so vocabulary, it just expands your vocabulary a lot and it helps uh, your reading skills. I wish I had paid attention more in uh math and in English. You know the basics, and history. you know. I mean, what else? What What do you need? Well, I, I, yeah, I guess I just paid attention better in the basics. Like, fuck calculus, fuck. Okay, don't take me out of I don't. I know what you need math for, but I mean, what do you need to know? So, everything's so automated today. And I'm not going into a fucking career where I, I need to know the trigon, trigonomic, for, that's not even a trigonomic formula is probably not even a thing. Yeah, now being good at math is a fun little cute bar trick, okay? Mm-hmm. Hey, baby, ask me, uh, so ask me my timetables. No. Can I eight times nine? I'm just trying to get a drink. I bet I can tell you eight times nine before, before you can. Okay. It's seventy two. Cool. Mm-hmm. Eight times eight. Sixty four. Eight mm-hmm. times seven, six. Mm-hmm. Eight times seven. I thought that's that in okay. elementary school. Mm-hmm. I remember doing flat. Sorry, I just remember like getting home from the bus and I would go to my. Like, my friend's house it was a neighborhood over, but just because my parents wouldn't be home in time, 
like my dad wouldn't be home in time, so I had to go over to my friend's house where his mom or dad would be home, and it's just like I remember the days of like flashcard learning, flashcards, like bro. times table flashcards, or even just vocabulary flashcards. Just it, flashcards helped a lot. I feel I feel like that's like one of the best ways of studying or like getting. More so like learning stuff, like memorizing stuff just so you can pass the test at yeah. least. Yeah, yeah, totally. I used flashcards all the time in high school. Uh, I used them, call I mean, I used them for like regular stuff too. I I really want to learn. I'm really getting excited about flashcards over here. Hey, dude, flashcards are awesome, man. We could still make flashcards. Yeah, we could. Just like whatever you want, man. Pick something you want to learn about, make some flashcards. I'm really, I, I love astronomy. Maybe I'll make some, some flashcards about astronomy and just sit there and study them in my free time and then, but I know more, you know? Yeah. You I could, could learn Afrikaans. Uh, Afrikaans is actually apparently or Afrikaans, it, whatever. Apricots. <laughs> More like Afrikant. What? Because it's so hard. What? What? Wait. What's hard? No, it's not Afrikaans. Oh, is the actually, language. It's actually pretty easy. Apparently, apparently Afrikaans is one of the one of it's the very easiest close languages. To English. It's like Dutch and English combined. Yeah. Basically, right? There. I, I've I've told the story about the the one I think like South African yeah guy named named Jim Bob Joe. That's not his real name. I'm not. Oh, I, real okay, name. I was about to say. That's I'm fucking, not gonna just say. That's his hilarious, real name. dude. That would be hilarious if that was really. <laughs> hey, I'm no. Jim Bob Joe. He had an accent and he spoke Afri Afrikaans. I don't know why. That's the South African Afrikaans? accent. Yeah. Yeah. Afrikaans. So does uh, Charlize Theron. She's South African. So mm -hmm. is uh, Elon Musk. Is he? Yeah, he's South African. What is Elon Musk? Like a like German and. Mm, uh, South African. Uh, let me see. Let me, uh, is he a, is, is he like ethnicity wise? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Elon Musk. Uh, yeah. I just I just looked it up, and it also says that uh, Afrikaans is one of the easiest languages to learn. Musk was born to a Canadian mother and South African father, and raised in Pretoria, South Africa. Now, if you remember, Pretoria doesn't exist anymore. Okay. Because Pretoria was the apartheid. Uh, it was during apartheid. Pretoria was a, the the place. I think that's Johannesburg now, but Pretoria was when they no blacks in my city. So was that apartheid? Yeah, it's apartheid, right? Do you know what apartheid is? Yeah, I'm just loving you explaining it. Well, I stumble over my. Okay, you know what? I pre, okay wait, because Pretoria was. Oh fuck! It's Cape. Uh. uh Never mind. Just forget I said anything about apartheid. <laughs> I don't know what I'm talking about. It's racism. I I do know that it was bad. Um. Yeah, I don't I don't know what what ethnicity is Musk. He is white. His ethnic roots are somewhere between English, French, Huguenot, Afrikaans slash Dutch, German, and Swiss German. Okay. So. So he is German somewhat. Yeah, I guess so. He's boom. 50, he's fifty years old. He looks. He looks like a German. Super mega does Rhodesia. Very sad and pouty. Very glum. He has that, he has such an interesting face. There's that one picture, it's like that meme picture where it's like a CG rendering of like his face on like a smooth like head. Have you seen that? It's like gray. No. I have seen his new haircut though. It's awesome. Where it's, it's fucking sick. Kind of just on top. <laughs> it's kind of just like high, not high and tight, but it's like the sides are kind of buzzed. No, it's definitely like an opposite of a high and tight. It's, it's I wish it was loose. the opposite of a high and tight where it was like buzzed at the top and then just gets <laughs> thicker down. That's the low and loose, baby. <laughs> the low and loose. Dude, I love this That's fucking good. picture of him when he was like, <laughs> before he had the hair transplant. Or were it plugs or whatever? Uh, yeah, know. he had the hair transplant. You can get a hair transplant. So it's someone else's scalp on your, or like someone else's armpit? No, it's not the scalp. It's basically they, they take like the, I think the roots or something and they reap. Actually, actually. I got an email recently. Okay. That was uh, targeted to you. Yes. And let me, uh, let me, this is something that maybe I should consider. Okay. Okay. Let me, uh, let me pull it up real quick. The subject was visit Istanbul for a clinic and hotel collaboration with, and I'm not going to say the name of the company. Hi there. We came across your amazing feed in our research for suitable influencers for our client in Istanbul, Turkey. They operate one of the best clinic in Turkey for dental care, aesthetic surgeries, and hair transplantation, and have a unique offer for you. You will stay one week in a very nice hotel with a view on the Bosporus. 
I don't know what that means, including authentic and historical Turkish bath and the Ottoman Empire. You choose a free treatment in one of three areas, dental care, aesthetics, or hair transplantation. Uh, so basically, they're saying they would, they would pay for, for me to go to Istanbul to get a free hair transplant, <laughs> and it would be some kind of influencer collaboration. Uh, awesome. But I'm like, I was like, whoa. I mean, there, did you respond? No. What? It sounds like a scam, but Matthew, also you come on. Hold on. Let me let me let me fin- let me I I was reading a screenshot. Let me go to the full thing. All right. Uh, you report about your Istanbul experience, including mentioning and tagging the clinic to your audience in daily Instagram stories, which remain in the highlight section for a period to be agreed upon. This way you can enjoy a great vacation in one of the world's most exciting cities. Uh, and then you can get a full treatment in one of the clinics. Uh, and if not, you can get your teeth done or something. Okay. So now we've, you know what's weird, got invited to Armenia. And who's Armenia enemies with? Turkey. Now getting invited to Turkey. Am I being used Are they as a political pawn here? I think. For influencers? Well, I mean, we still have to go to. If I could fix, dude, if I got a brand new head of hair, like thick hair, like, dude, I'll, I'll I don't, any, any foreign government, hit, like I will, uh, I'll say whatever you guys want me to say about whatever country. You don't need the hair transplant. No, not yet. Maybe at some point. They do teeth. They do. Sometimes hair can just fall out fast. Who knows? I have heard, though, like, Turkey is notorious for the hair surgery, the hair transplant. Like, it's where all the guys go. It's where, like, the best ones it's are. Apparently, like, it's amazing. It's incredible. You know, they just... It's, I think it's, it's like $10,000 or more. It's expensive. So. Oh, that's cheap for you. Yeah, but I don't know, man. Oh, the patrons will, no, oh, the patrons will cover Dude, the it. patrons would love to pay for my new head of hair. If I could get a new head of hair, I'd get thick hair because my hair is very thin right now, so it's hard to style. Mm-hmm. I got a lot of cowlicks. But have you seen what it looks like when someone gets hair plugs? It's mm, disgusting. I don't want to. It's terrifying. Like how they put it, like the, the procedure itself? No, like what it looks like. Before the hair grows, like if they have to like wear a beanie for a bit. It basically just like every single hair follicle looks like swollen, and it's it's really like if you have a trip tryptophobia, then it's oh, like the absolute okay. worst trigger for that. Yeah, it, it looks disgusting, but I mean they could lower this hairline an inch or two, you know, <laughs> right at your eyebrows. I asked them like, <laughs> can you just take it down to my eyebrows, please? <laughs> I mean, technically, could could they? I guess I don't know. That'd be hilarious, though. I'm sure that there's someone listening that has gone to Turkey and gotten the the you Turkish think? hair transplant. It's common. Yeah, it's it's like a it's a well. I don't know how common it is, but I know it, I've heard of it. I heard Hassan talking about it. Uh, Did Hassan do it? I sent Hassan a screenshot of this email and I said, "Should I do this?" And he said, "Yes." Did he do it? No, he you know, he's already Turkish man. He gets all the Turkish free stuff. He Why wants. is he telling you to do it? I don't know. Does he actually? So he. So Hassan. It was thinks, probably an. So Hassan thinks you have a bad hairline. I should have asked. I'm like, oh, so wait, why? Why did you say yes? Do you, Do you think I need it? So he's like, yeah, bro. And he's like, oh, um, no, this was a joke. What? Never mind. Ha. And I never speak to Hassan again. When's the podcast? Oh, soon. Ha. Bye. Yep. <laughs> Uh, well, like, uh, update one week later from the last podcast episode, and now we have, uh, I think all the, all the, all the equipment has arrived. Yep. Tucker's still in Hawaii. Hawaii. But that's, he, that's, he's essentially the one who's setting up the camera. It looks light, beautiful. Light and all that shit. It's gonna, hope, I mean, I'm not, I don't know why I say hopefully, it's Tucker. Tucker always does a fantastic fucking job. What if Tucker came in and just did sh- it was shit. It was absolutely garbage. There's no way. I would, I, that would actually Tucker's be like. Tucker's never, ever filmed something, like, it, in, at least for us, or that I've seen, that looks bad. I have or, seen one thing he filmed that was bad. It was the, uh, the home, like, I don't know what, sex tape type thing yeah, he made. That but that iPhone. was, that was with an iPhone. Yeah, but, well, it wasn't mainly bad because of the shooting. It was bad from the moves he was pulling. He was not smooth <laughs> with what the What moves, dude? Yeah, exactly, so. He wasn't very smooth with the sex, and he came in what? In the first minute of the video. I mean, the other seven minutes was this kind of him trying to get hard again. But in, in and out's a restaurant, not a lifestyle, buddy. You know? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Come on. Exactly. But other than that, he's amazing, dude. He shoots shoots the, the best stuff. 
ooh, I feel myself having to shit. Okay. Really bad. Well, you Matt's going to go take a shit. My digestive system has been fucked will... lately. Just so f- absolutely fucked. I stopped. I ran out of my uh, probiotics, so I think that mm-hmm. maybe maybe that's why. I don't know. We should we should both take a shit together. Same toilet. Back to back. You, you're on the front. I'm on the back. And then maybe, maybe if we fill it up, we can reach the ceiling. And then go <sighs> down five be... the ceiling. What if, what if you pull an up? That'll be in the next book, by the way. <laughs> First scene. Hold on. We have to take a huge shit. <laughs> and then it describes they the toilet. Oh, just, just wait. Fill it with just shit. wait. Yeah, oh, it's going to be good. Y'all are going to wait for that chapter, the poo poo chapter. The poop chapter, the poop Ryan. Chapter. You got to make a little more mature than poo poo. My dad said it was, it was too... potty humor. Poo poo is potty humor. Yeah, poop right. is mature. Okay? All right. The crap. Crap. That's good. That's the, good. The crap chapter. The crapter. The crapter. Oh, dude. Yeah. Oh, can we name that one crapter like four whenever we, we get to it? <laughs> In the audio book when it hits chapter 21. It's like, chapter 21. <laughs> Put in the audio. Yep. Anyway, uh, thank you guys for listening. Go check out our Patreon for some bonus content. There's episode, you can get this podcast ad free uh, usually a little earlier than it is on streaming services. And you can get it. Uh, and get the mini cast and get extra bonus videos. Be a part of our Q and A. Be a part of the Discord, and a little something special that's coming soon too. It's a little bonus. You yeah. can be a part of my balls. Bye. Bye.